this is a class of arc length of a plane curve okay and the problem is so that the arc of the upper half of the cardioid is given by r this is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta is bisected at theta equal to 2 pi by j also so that the perimeter of the curve is a j okay and since this is a polar curve so we already write here the arc length formula of polar curve which is given by s this is equal to integration theta 1 to theta 2 root under r square plus dr d theta whole square d theta this is the formula of finding arc length okay now first we try to sketch roughly the cardioid the given cardioid here the given cardioid is this to sketch roughly any polar curve we first here replace theta by minus theta okay and it is clear that this is unchanged if we put minus theta in place of theta so we say that the curve is symmetric about theta equal to 0 that is about the initial line and the initial line is given by like this this is the initial line we name this as OX okay and this is O this is 0 0 0 0 okay now if we put theta equal to 0 here then we get r this is equal to a into 1 minus 1 this is equal to 0 so at theta equal to 0 curve b at 0 0 length that is r equal to 0 and if we put theta equal to pi by 2 here then we get if theta equal to put pi by 2 then we get r this is equal to a into 1 minus 0 so this is a okay so the point is r theta is given by a pi by 2 we draw the line pi by 2 this is perpendicular to the initial line and the curve passes through a pi by 2 like this point okay or we take this is smaller than this and if we put theta this is equal to pi then we get the result r this is equal to a into 1 minus cos pi what is the cos pi cos pi is minus 1 so we get 2a so the point is 2a comma pi okay and we know that the opposite direction of the initial line this is equal to theta pi okay theta equal to pi and we get a point this is at a distance from the pole is 2a so this point is 2a comma pi and the curve is look like this this or we write or we draw like this okay and since it is symmetric about this line or theta equal to 0 so the lower portion of the curve is like this this is drawn similar as the upper portion okay we draw the cardioid roughly in the previous class but in this class or the previous class the equation of the cardioid is r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta and in this case the cardioid is look like this okay look like this here this is equal this is r equal to 1 plus cos theta into a and here r this is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta okay here theta equal to 0 here theta equal to pi by 2 here theta equal to pi now we have to find first the length of the curve from origin to any general point this is point p this is r theta so r is given by or r is given by r claim from theta equal to 0 to theta equal to theta s s this is equal to integration 0 to theta the range is theta and root under the formula right here r square plus dr d theta whole square d theta 
Okay. What is dr d theta? dr d theta means dr d theta means a into 0 minus this is plus sin theta because the derivative of cos theta this is minus sin theta. Okay, now putting the value of dr d theta and r here, we get the result 0 to theta root under a square into 1 minus cos theta whole square plus a square into sin square theta d theta. Okay, we get the result integration 0 to theta root under this is 2 minus 2 cos theta d theta. Right? And the formula is integration 0 to theta, this is 2 into 2, this is sin square theta by 2 d theta. So we get this is equal to a into integration 0 to theta, this is 2 because here under the root is 4, so outside the root is 2. And sin square theta means sin theta by 2 d theta. And the integration is given by 4a into cos theta by 2. Okay. And the range are 0 to theta. Okay. So we get we get 4a into 4a into we put theta, then we get cos theta by 2, we put 0, then this is 1. Okay, because cos 0 is 1 and cos theta is theta here. Now we have to find out the arc on the upper portion of the cardioid. How to find out arc on the upper portion? Arc on the upper portion is given by S1, is given by integration theta equal to 0 to pi because from the origin to the point theta equal to phi in the upper portion. And we get root r square plus dr d theta all square d theta. Okay. And we need not need not to find out the integration again. We only put the value here. We get 4a. We put only the value of theta is pi. Okay. So we get this is cos pi by 2 minus 1. And this is given by, this is given by minus 4. Sorry, we make a small mistake here. When we integrate sin theta by 2, we get here another minus. Because the integration of sin is minus cos. Okay. So, after putting the range, here we get this is plus and this is minus. Right. And after correcting this result, we get this is plus and this is minus. So, the range is so the arc length is 4a on the upper half. Okay. Now to find the arc from theta equal to 0 to theta equal to 2 pi by 3. Okay. So we get this is s2, this is theta equal to 0 to 2 pi by 3. And this is r square plus dr d theta whole square d theta. And this result gives 4a into 1 minus cos. We put in place of theta, this is 2 pi by 3. So we get pi by 3 here, 2 to cancel out. And getting the result as 4a into 1 minus half, this is 2a. Okay. So from these two result, we say that s1, this is equal to 2 into s2. And S1, this is equal to 2 into S2. This proves that the upper half of the cardioid is bisected at the point theta equal to 2 pi by 3. This is the first answer of this problem. Okay. And also, we have to find the perimeter of the curve, which is 18. It is clearly obvious since the length of the upper half is 4a. So, the perimeter Perimeter is equal to 2 into S1. Okay. S1 is the length of upper half. So, this is 2 into 4a. This is 8a. Okay. This is the second answer of this problem. Very easy problem. But 
interesting and important problem of our planet. Right? Thank you. Thank you for watching.